the most future-oriented transport mode and backbone of the country's transport network, railways. Having seen for ourselves the miraculous growth of a country that development and innovation of railways can bring, Korea National Railway continues its ceaseless research and efforts to enhance the speed of railways. How did speed enhancement of existing railways begin in Korea, and how has it changed over the years? From steam and diesel locomotives to high-speed rail, the Republic of Korea has over 100 years of experience in railway construction. With the long history, there were many lines linking the country. However, the railways had gradually lost the competitive edge due to lower speeds on aging infrastructures. Renewing aged railways with new high-speed rail not only incurs huge cost, but also calls for social consensus. To address the issue of aging infrastructures and to enhance speeds, Korea National Railway has been focusing on the more economical option of speed enhancement of existing railways. Speed upgrading requires works in all areas of railway, including track bed, tracks, signaling and train control systems and rolling stocks. Horizontal alignment is straightened by modifying sharp curves and curve radiuses. Track beds are reinforced with slab tracks to withstand higher speeds. And, aged railway bridges with no track ballast or a slab are ballasted for increased safety. In addition, fences, grade-separated crossings, and noise barriers are installed to mitigate noise and ballast scattering from trains running at higher speeds. In track works, longer and heavier rails are used for improved ride comfort and minimized wear of rails. In signaling and communications, LTE-based Integrated Railway Wireless Communication LTER, and Korean Train Control System KTCS, which is compliant with ETCS, are installed to enable automatic train operation at higher speeds. In rolling stocks, in addition to high-speed trains, semi-high-speed trains have been introduced, and electrification of railways continue for steady improvement in performance and speed of trains. Lastly, Korea National Railway has incorporated advanced technologies into measuring equipment and smart sensor systems to permit speed upgrading works to be carried out without interruptions to train services, all the while ensuring accident-free safety at all stages from construction to operation. An example of a successful speed enhancement project is the Susex Hawanju project, completed and opened in time for Pyeongchang 2018 Winter Olympic Games to provide convenient rail transport services to Olympic visitors. The preparatory feasibility study estimated that while construction of a new railway would take three years at a cost of 919 million US dollars to reduce trip time by 30 minutes, speed upgrading of the existing railway would take two years at a comparatively lower cost of 126 million US dollars to reduce trip time by 25 minutes. Korea National Railway decided the most timely and economic way to higher speeds would be to upgrade the existing lines. And speed upgrading of Susek's Hawanju section resulted in cutting travel time from 70 minutes to 42 minutes and successful Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games. Today, Sohae, Jungang, Gyeongjeon, Wonggang, and Jungbu Neduk lines Five lines on the country's main corridors are undergoing speed upgrading. Through these speed enhancement projects, Korea National Railway plans to link the country's major hubs and cities in under two hours by 2040. From the steam locomotive with a top speed of 60 km per hour to Hemu 430X 
the next generation high-speed train running at 430 kilometers per hour. We continue our relentless pursuit, taking on new challenges to achieve higher speeds. Korea National Railway presents Speed Enhanced Railways for an astonishing new future. A surprising new world traveled with faster, safer and more comfortable railways.